Good morning. I want to read you guys a scripture. I've been thinking about direction a lot, and probably because our seniors are graduating. Um, but Psalm 119, 105 says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Anybody in here, did your parents force you to memorize scriptures? My parents bribed me to memorize scriptures. They used to pay me a quarter for every scripture. Um, it cost them very little, but was a great investment in my life. And honestly, I don't think I even memorized more than 10. So, I'm not sure how many dollars that is. But, it was a great investment to end my life. And this is one of the first ones that they forced me to memorize. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Have you ever met somebody and they try to use a scripture to justify their opinion? And you're like, that does not make any sense with the rest of the chapter. Right? Um, like, we do this really typically. I'm going to get up here. So, for instance, thanks, Al. Um, the scripture, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Right? So, I don't walk into, like, a liquor store and say, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I'm going to drink all of this. Right? That would be an inappropriate application to the scripture because that's not what he's saying. You read the rest of the scripture and he actually says, like, I can face hardship. I can endure so much because God strengthens me. So it's not so much like me picking up a barbell and being like, I can do all things and lifting the barbell. It's actually me going through stuff and him enabling me to do that. Right? So we live in a world with swirling opinions. Get on social media. There's a lot of opinions. And a lot of people use scripture to justify their opinions. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take the word... And I'm going to let it be a light into my path. Because the light actually shows you which path to take. It doesn't help me justify the path I choose to take. If that makes sense. And then I also wanted to read this one. This is from Proverbs 3. I don't think it's just the seniors in here who are looking for direction. Yeah? It's not just the graduates. There are so many of us who we need direction in our everyday lives. And Proverbs 3 tells me and you. My child, never forget the things I have taught you. Store my commands in your heart. If you do this, you will live many years and your life will be satisfying. Never let loyalty and kindness leave you. Tie them around your neck as a reminder. Write them deep within your heart. Then you will find favor with God and people and you will earn a good reputation. This is the best, well, my favorite verse in this chapter. Verse 5 says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do and he will show you which path to take. I love that scripture that we trust in the Lord with all of our hearts and he shows us which path to take. I just want to pray for us this morning. If you're in here and you're looking for direction, if you're in here and you're looking for a job or to buy a house, or looking for some sort of direction about your future, when to retire, what college to go to, what high school to go to, who to date, who to marry. I'm just believing God right now. If we'd all just close our eyes. Father God, I thank you that you see every single heart in here. That you see every single life. That you love every single person. And I ask you, Lord, that you would direct their steps. That they would trust in you. That they would delight in you. And that you would use your word to guide them and be a lamp unto their feet, a light unto their path, to help them walk in the paths of righteousness that you have prepared in advance for them to walk in. In your precious name we pray, amen. Amen. All right, welcome to church. So this is the Christian Center. And our dream is that you would encounter God, that you would find a godly community. It takes a village, am I right? Not just to raise a child, but to live your life. And to fulfill your purpose. Now, I have a quick announcement before we go into the three-minute mingle, which is basically where we torture the introverts and the extroverts thrive. If you are, whoo, if you are a youth and you are going to camp and you are selling barbecue tickets, I want you to stand up. That's Amber, Jackson, Gabby, Rachel. Okay. You guys get first dibs because this is the first time we are releasing tickets. Katie's standing in for her daughter. Right here are the tickets. If you forgot yours, youth, I want you to come up here and get some. 
everybody, we're doing a fundraiser for youth camp. Each ticket is $12, and on June 5th, right across the street, you're gonna go over there and grab the best pulled pork sandwich you've ever had. Prepared by Ariel and Kendall, and our youth who are gonna serve it. And so if you can please buy one of these tickets, your lunch ticket from one of these youth, well, however many you want, you buy that from them. All right, if you can buy your ticket from one of these youth, they have to sell 10 tickets in order to get part of the fundraising money. So I'll leave that with you. Now we've got some gum and mints gonna go around and we're gonna greet each other for three minutes. And then we'll see you back in three minutes to continue our worship with our offering. 